Now, since you're going to be creating a bunch of different identities and you're going to be creating uh, for each one of those identities a separate Clipmarks account, a separate uh, remote blogging account, um, you know, there has to be a way to keep track of all this. The truth is I created some software to do this, which I'll show you, you know, down the road, but you can do it manually. It's not a lot of fun, which is why I created the software, because I needed it to help myself. And because uh, I needed it, I made it, and, you know, you'll see it uh, in a following video. But um, if you want to do it manually, just create a spreadsheet, and then just uh, fill out the spreadsheet so you have a way to track what you've done. So, you know, if you have a, an identity John Smith, and, you know, who knows, John Smith at uh, yahoo.com and your password, whatever that is. And then the next thing you're going to do is use that identity for a Clipmarks account. So you go over here and fill out your Clipmarks username, let's say John Smith, then your Clipmarks password, and then uh, your theme keyword, which uh, we're going to do one for our main page of our site first. We'll do here removal. And you're going to have, you know, one for an identity for each uh, silo and each article, uh, maybe even more than one. So you might have, you know, leg hair removal is another identity, and uh, on and on and on. Um, then you're going to pick the service. So this is going to be, let's say, WordPress, and then maybe the next one you do is going to be Live Journal. Uh, maybe the next one is going to be a, um, a Vox account. And then when you create it on, uh, on WordPress, you're going to go ahead and put in the username and password that you uh, used to create your WordPress account, which may be the same. You know, usually you want to keep it all the same and the password there. And then um, once you've set up your WordPress or Vox or LiveJournal blogging uh, account, um, it'll give you a blog URL. And then you would put the blog URL here. And that eventually you'll put into your Clipmarks account so that you can use Clipmarks to clip to blog and post things onto your blog remotely through Clipmarks. So this is how you would set up your um, identity spreadsheet. Again, you're going to have multiple identities. So you know you go into a Hotmail or Yahoo and you know, pick a fictitious name, create an email, uh, record what you did, then go ahead and go into your uh, Clipmarks, create a new Clipmarks account with a Clipmarks username and password. Uh, pick a theme keyword that you're going to create your remote blogging with, which should be the theme keyword that um, you're going to be creating your links with, and just record it all on a spreadsheet so you can keep track of all your different identities. So, um, like I said, um, this is the way to do it manually, and um, I have some software I'll show you which is going to do all of this automated and make it much, much easier, and we'll pick it up in the